So you can see that it's not exactly the same motor. I'm not sure if that's going to be a problem or not. I guess all I can do is put it together and see if it works. At this point, I'm just going to clip the wires on the motor. Got them all in pretty much the same place. Now we'll strip the wires. My replacement motor came with pre-tinned wires, and I suspect that that's so that I could just solder them directly onto the board like so. However, I don't really feel comfortable soldering that close to a board, uh, to a small circuit board like that. I'm going to cut the ends of these wires off and strip them again, and then I'm going to twist and solder. I, I like to have a mechanical connection instead of just a solder connection. These are stranded wires, so I like to give them a little twist before I solder them. I'm not an expert in soldering, but I've never really had a problem with my solders either, so who knows. I don't know if that got hot enough to bond or not, unfortunately. I guess we'll find out when it falls out of the sky. All right, so I'm gonna reinstall the motor screws now. Try to anyway. I'm a little concerned that I've unbalanced the craft at this point, but we'll find out, I guess. Call me crazy, but before I lock down the heat shrink tubing with heat, I'd like to test and make sure that my motor actually spins. So I'm gonna do that now. Reinstall the battery. Hopefully I won't get electrocuted. Power it up. Okay, so I want to test this motor, but in order to do so, I had to plug in the GPS antenna. So I've just got the top of the Phantom resting uh, on top of the chassis, but the antenna is plugged in. So now I'm going to start up the motors. Well, that's disconcerting. The new motor is doing exactly the same thing that the old motor did.